Hello and welcome to the Tactical Project. I'm your host, as always, Tactical, working every day to bring you the best Guns Gear Knife channel available on YouTube. And in today's video, we're going to go ahead and do a tabletop review of my CRKT Ripple. Um, I got this knife uh, a couple months ago. I was at um, Lowe's uh, department store um, getting some stuff, some paint brushes and stuff, doing a little bit of housework. And I walked by and I saw that they had a knife rack there for some reason. They had uh, a couple SOGs, um, some uh, off-brand stuff that I've never heard of. And then they had the CRKT stuff and uh, they had the Ripple there. And I was like, wow, I, I've been meaning to pick one of these up, just sort of look at them. And um, they had it for a uh, really reasonable price. So I said, heck, while I'm here, just to uh, try to encourage a big box store to carry... Uh, decent quality stuff I'll go ahead and buy it and uh, honestly haven't regretted it since I really like this as a uh, EDC knife and we'll go ahead and get into that in the video so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the knife itself uh, we'll just go ahead and go over the dimensions first it's uh, seven and a half inches long when it's open and uh, 4.33 inches when it's closed and two and a half uh, two and a half ounces so it's a very light uh, very compact knife um, if you notice this has a uh, flipper design and it's a uh, very fast flipper I I've never owned a flipper knife before but this is um, it, this is very quick um, very smooth I like it a lot <clears throat> um, you know just based off this I'm gonna try some more flipper knives uh, it is a liner lock you can see the liner right there uh, pretty easy to get to, um, nice and grippy too, it's um, got some jimping or serrations there just to make it so you can grip, uh, jimping on the top of the knife which is uh, nice and aggressive and this uh, finger groove right here makes it so that you can get nice and into this knife, uh, it's a uh, high hollow grind with a uh, drop point and it comes razor sharp out of the package like I was I was impressed with how sharp it was um, and it's still sharp even though I've been using it uh, like I said for a couple months the uh, spine of the knife is actually rounded which um, I couldn't figure out what was off about the blade the first time I uh, you know whenever I played with it for a little bit and then I was like oh this the spines rounded and it's not that something was wrong it's just I I haven't uh, encountered a knife like that before so um it was pretty nice, and, and now that it's there, you know, it's something that I'll make sure to look for because I actually kind of like it. Uh, it has these aluminum scales, and um, this came with like a pre-worn look or something. I saw a lot of people complained about it uh, online. Um, I don't really care. I mean, I think it looks, it looks decent. I like the look of a worn knife, and just because it looks worn doesn't mean it's all beat up. It has these uh, Torx screws is a uh, nice uh, flow through uh, pillar design um, and you can break the knife down if you want to as a uh, pocket clip with these uh, two screws here so that you can take it off it's not reversible or anything so you're stuck with uh, tip down only um, I don't use pocket clips anyway so it doesn't really matter to me but for those of you that are worried about it that's what you're stuck with has a lanyard hole here um, the clip does have decent retention, uh, like it's, it's really stiff, but my complaint about it is, see if we can catch it on the camera, is it does sit up a little bit above the, uh, grip of the knife. Um, whenever I've been using the knife, it hasn't like dug into me or anything, but there is potential for that. So, um, I may take this off just on that principle, but the clip hasn't caught on anything like, or, uh, you know, hasn't dug into me as of yet, but, uh, you know, there's always that first time. Um, has, uh, some nice milling in these holes here. Um, aesthetically, I like it, but I think it's mostly just to try to eliminate a, a few, uh, tenths or hundredths of an ounce, um, which does pay off. Like I said, it's only, uh, two and a half ounce knife. The, uh, blade length itself is, uh, three... 0.13 inches. It's a uh, tenth of an inch thick. Uh, the steel they used, and I'm not a steel guy, so I'm sorry, but
but uh, I had to look it up. It's a 8CR14 MOV. I don't know what that means, but for you steel guys out there, there's the information for you. Um, it has a uh, Rockwell hardness of uh, 58 to 59, and that's about it. <clears throat> um, blade centering on at least my example isn't so great. I don't know. There we go. You guys can see it goes to what would be my right a little bit. Um, doesn't affect the deploying of the knife and uh, I mean cutting ability or anything like that. So it's not a big deal for me. <clears throat> but uh, there's that. Uh, ergonomic wise it's very comfortable in uh, both regular grip and reverse grip. Um, fits pretty nice in my hand. I wear a uh, size large mechanic glove. So just to let you know the size of my hand. Um, it doesn't come quite down to the end. But um, still it's really comfortable. Um, methodology use. I would put this at uh, purely an EDC blade. Um, you know with all knives. I, I love it whenever guys are like oh well this, this knife's for defense. Well uh, you can press a butter knife into a defense roll you know you know there, there's guys that say well, this knife isn't good for defense well you know i'd rather have you know a nine inch long buoy knife for self-defense but you know I, we can't all carry those around so you could press this into that roll but like i said you could press anything into that roll um this would not be my first choice um to me this is pretty much just an edc knife um i don't see it as a tactical knife although i um don't foresee any problems with it and um, it is sturdily built <clears throat> um, I really like this uh, grind that's on it so I think it would be good for uh, those of you that are hunters that uh, high hollow grind just uh, makes it so you can get in there razor sharp and just you know do all your skinning and field dressing and the uh, pillar design will make it so that it'll be easy to clean your knife up after you're done as well <clears throat> so that's it uh, pretty much EDC and uh, Possibly like hunting for like field dressing or something if you don't feel like having a uh, fixed blade with you <clears throat> And So let's go ahead and talk about the price. I got this one for $30 it was like $29 and some change when I was at Lowe's um, This knife is listed on CRKT's website for $60 $60. I don't like this knife $30. I love this knife um, I did a little bit more research. Amazon has them for about 30 bucks. So that seems to be the going rate. And for 30 bucks, I have to give this knife um, 9 out of 10. It's just, it's a really good knife uh, for EDC and such. Um, the only reason why it uh, gets the uh, 9 out of 10 is the non reversible on the pocket clip. And even though it hasn't affected um, my use of the knife, the. Um, blade centering being off on my example so nine out of ten that's all i have for you guys today as always please remember to like comment and subscribe so that you can be one of the first to view my videos as they become available till next time tack out